so let's talk about explain something to do with the the three quadratic identities and uh, there is a certain special way um, a certain special question which i'll show you how to solve if you know the idea or the concept on the three identities so the quadratic identities are the first one is a plus b then brackets square you should know what this means this is an expression identity, uh, but an expression which is factorized. So if you expand this, you will get a squared plus 2ab, then plus b squared. So this is the first identity. In the first case, it's factorized. In the second case, it's expanded. So when you have an expanded expression in this form, if you factorize it, it goes to this form. And when you have this, if you expand it, it gives you this form here. So that's a simple thing that you have to understand. Maybe in an example in a basic for an, a basic question, something like 2x then plus 3 squared. And you want to get the answer for this. Since it's factorized using the first identity, you just say to get the answer for this, according to this statement here in Amanisha, square the first value. And that gives you 4x squared plus, you can see two times, first times the second value. So it's two times this times this. The answer should be 12x. Then plus, this represents the last number squared, which means 3. 3 squared is the same as 9. Even though this is not what I want to explain, there's something else I'd explain on how you use this identity here. But just knowing that this identity, in, in most questions to Kifanya, by the way, unazionafanya topics, alafu, unafika maali, ukona such statement. If I tell you when they ku andika two brackets, expanding kido kidogo, that will waste your time. So the easiest way to do it is that. Uh, the second identity is uh, A minus B, brackets squared. This is uh, an identity which is factorized, and if you expand it, it gives you A squared, minus 2ab, then plus b squared. So the difference between this identity and the first identity is uh, in this identity there was minus, and uh, that means the second term should be minus. Why? Because when you say this times negative b times two, it gives you negative 2ab, and that's why. So there's no much difference between this identity here and this they're actually almost the same, only that this was plus, everything is plus. This is minus, we have that value. An example of a question, just the same same in that form, if it was 2x minus 3, then bracket squared. So this should give you 4x squared minus 12x, then plus 9. Same same, the only difference is the sign, because if you say this value, times negative three times two, it gives you a negative 12 as the answer. This is the second identity. So I want you to focus more on this because the application will have to do with the more to do with this. Kama ukona, such an expression which is factorized, it can be written in this form. Kama ukona, expression which is written in this form, you can change it to this. And the same to the first one. Uh, the third identity, is normally referred to as difference of two squares. And it's normally a minus b, a plus b, difference of two squares. You should know this well. So a minus b, a plus b. If you expand this, you normally get the answer a squared minus b squared. And again, if you look at the two brackets, one has a negative sign for the second term, and the other one has a positive term, sign for the second term. But the terms in this and this are actually the same. The only difference is the sign. So when you have a factorized expression in this form, when expanded, it gives you this. So in a question, I'll, I'll want to use a, an expanded one whereby you factorize. If you have a statement like x squared minus 16, this is in the form difference of two squares. Why? Because between these two numbers, there is a negative sign. And what makes it that this value should have 
a square root, this also should have a square root. So when you factorize this, you take the square root of this first number, which is x, you take this sign, take the square root of this, which is four. Then again, repeat the same bracket, this one here, but with the plus sign, so which is x plus four. So I want to focus on my application, application of uh, how you're supposed to use these identities. Ujue, ukiona hii identity hii, inamanisha hivi. Ama nikiona such a statement, I can write it to this. Nikiona this statement, I can write it to this. Or nikiona hii, I can write it to this. And same to this here. So how you apply this in uh, a question somewhere, there is a, a sample of a question I want to use here. So I want you to follow very keenly because it only involves the identities and playing around with those identities. It is given that x plus y equals to eight and x squared plus y squared equals to 34. Find the value of the following. The first question, look at this. When they say you're given values, alafu wanataka utumie those values to solve something, it is so straightforward. Kosabu, you need the idea here, the information given here to solve these questions. That's what you're required to do. So if I want to solve this, first how can I write this statement in any of maybe these two so that I can relate? According to the first identity, this is, a, or this can be written as X plus Y, then brackets squared. If you look at it carefully, you notice this is just the same as the first identity. But go back to these statements here. Do I have anything that relates to this? Yes, I have x plus y. And it says that x plus y equals to 8. So it means this is 8. This x plus y is the same as 8. Then it is squared. So the answer for this here is supposed to be this value squared, which is 8 squared, and the answer is a 64. Evil. So you need to make the first identity to solve that question there in that easy form. We move to the second one. There is 2xy. Unfortunately, I don't see any 2xy here. But in now, things relate. In this statement here, I see 2xy. Then, this is what I'll say. I'll say, First, I got the answer for this, and the answer for this is the same as 64. So I'll write x squared plus 2xy, my interest is here, then plus y squared. I already got the answer for this as a 64. But if you rewrite this statement, it will give you x squared plus e y squared plus 2xy my interest is here, equals to 64. But again, there's a place they said x squared plus y squared is the same as 34. So instead of this, I'll replace that with 34 plus 2xy equals to 64. Now you can see what is happening. They asked for the value of 2xy, I have 2xy here. Then my 2xy in this case will be 64 minus 34, which is the same as 64 minus 34. That should be 30. Evo. So I hope you're following. No, 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 Missouri, what I'm doing because it's as simple as that. Okay, the next one. Next one here takes me back to the second identity I showed you. It will be for the second identity. If you have a statement like this, e in a manisha x squared, so sorry, x minus y. But actually, to solve this, I don't need to think evil. Because look at this question carefully. Already from this to Mejua, if I collect this and this together, it gives me this value, 34. And 2xy, I've already got the value of 2xy, which is the same as 30. So in Amanisha, if I want to solve this, first I'll write this to x squared plus y squared, then minus 2xy. That's all I need. Then x squared plus y squared is said to be 34. So I'll write 
34 here. Then minus 2xy, the value of 2xy was 30. This is 30. So if I solve this, I'll get 4. So it means the value of x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equals to 4. Kuchasa to around na the identities. Then the next question. D, they said, find the value of x minus y. So now, go back to the original of this. When you factorize this statement, here, what do you get? When you factorize this, it gives you x minus y, then into brackets, square. But this statement here, which is the same as this, its value is 4. So it's correct to say that the answer for this is 4. Then I want to get x minus y. I have x minus y squared equals to 4. So then it means the value of x minus y equals to plus or minus 2. Why? Because I need to get the square root, square root. And square root of any number is supposed to be plus or minus 2. The last question. The last question says, find the value of x and y. So if you want to get the value of x and y, you are supposed to use the value of x, y you got here and this x, y to form equations. There will be two equations because in this case, the value of x minus y has two possible values. So the first one, x plus y equals to 8. And if I use one of these, it will be x minus y equals to 2. I'm using the positive value first. Now, if I solve this simultaneous, let me add. If I add, this gives me 2x. And this here gives me 10. Then from this, the value of x equals to 5. So when x is 5, the value of y will be the substitute. We take up a 5. Pereka uku, the value of y will be 3. Uh, another one, again, x plus y equals to 8. And uh, x minus y, now I'm using the negative value, which is negative 2. Do the same, same thing. Add. If I add, I'll get 2x, and this should be 6. So from this, the value of x equals to Three. So when x is 3, what's the value of y? Any of the equations, put here 3, click at the other side, the value of y will be 5. So in this case, we got values of x and y. So I've used the identity x plus y bracket squared, x minus y bracket squared to solve these sort of questions. Kama unanga janga made familiar vizuri, just check. Utona somewhere, kuna question which is identical to this. Try to do it and uh, maybe let me know if uh, there's any problem, but I'm very sure that you should be able to do it correctly. See you.